Mirrors of New York, frankly, don't seem like a very fun place to be. With the darkness, smell, and the fact that any rats you find probably won't be teaching you martial arts. But according to some, there are even bigger perils beneath the city. Alligators that have taken up residence. The first stories of subterranean sewer saurians come from the 1930s. Due to the abundance of the reptiles in the Sunshine State, some enterprising Floridians would sell baby alligators to tourists as souvenirs. Similarly, tile goldfish in bags used to be carnival prizes. Families from New York would buy these animals, only for them to grow too large to really feasibly be household pets in a New York apartment. Their solution? Flush them away, like some fish owners inevitably do, and let them end up where they end up. According to some, the relatively small creatures would wind up in the sewers, they would grow to maturity, find other gators who suffered similar fates, and reproduce, leading to a population of alligators living below the sewers of New York. With these tales passed on by word of mouth for years, it was Robert Daly's 1959 book, The World Beneath the City, that brought them a new level of attention, with a story relayed to Daly by the Commissioner of Sewers, Teddy May, where he claimed to have found a population of alligators in the sewers and had his men cull their numbers with firearms. Stranger details that would come out of later accounts were that the creatures would develop albinism due to their low-light environment and would grow monstrously large due to toxic chemicals in the sewers. But are these stories true? I'll give you a little bit of time to give an educated guess in the comments. Ready? These stories are mostly untrue. While there have been adolescent alligators flushed down toilets and released into storm drains in the Big Apple, they would really have no way of surviving long enough for there to be a sizable population. They could not survive the cold winters, nor would they have enough food. So while there have been similarly documented cases of these creatures getting stuck in sewers in New York and in other cities, them surviving down there? Now that's a crock.